Oi, oi, inglorious. I'm just trying something a bit different. Hold up. I'm going to swap the camera. Bear with me. <laughs> this bloody thing's a nightmare. Right, let's try this. Is it better quality? I brought the laptop with me so I can uh, read the comments off, off this. Technical issues, yeah. I just don't like uh, when it's on the front camera, it's quite blurry. Sound. Maybe a bit darker. On here, it doesn't look like very good quality, so I don't know how it's going. 59 watching, hit the like button, guys. Got to catch some crabs. <laughs> Fine on the forward camera. Sound cheers and glorious. Sound. Just thought I'd do a little uh, Q and A with you guys because uh, I'm struggling for content at the moment and it's doing my head in. When are you doing more foraging videos? Maybe Sunday. I'm not sure yet. Do -do 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 -do. Good on this side. Where's Sam? Sam's at work, I think. Do -do 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 -do. Do 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 do. Hello mate, really enjoy your videos. From Kent. What's the next fishing, well when's the next fishing session? Um, I can't tell you at the moment because the weather is really, really bad. Is that better? Yeah, I can't wait to make a video. It's actually, I, I get really claustrophobic stuck in all the time. I really want to get back out. Conga Wars, hopefully, is the next one. Never had raw scallop, how much? 
raw scallop, as long as it's from a really clean place, uh, it's delicious. It's really sweet. It's got sort of a spider crab taste to it. It's really nice. Will you ever travel to other places in the world for videos? Yes, I will. Uh, I really want to go Costa Rica, but I do want to go mainland England and uh, do a little bit of fishing there as well. There's a few places I'd like to go, but you need money to do it, obviously. The weather is depressing. Fishing bug. Totally agree, mate. <laughs> Are you a decorator? Uh, I do do decorating, but uh, I'm a carpenter by trade, but I do a bit of everything. Plastering, blocking. When did you start fishing and foraging? My dad was a commercial fisherman. Uh, he took me foraging when I was a kid, just getting uh, like little mussels and scallops and bits and bobs off the beaches. And we used to go home and cook it. Um, I really started doing more foraging with YouTube, like studying more creatures in the books and stuff like that. But I've always done it. Uh, ormering, I've never missed a year. Uh, since I was a kid, I've always been ormering. And then uh, same with the spider crabs. Spider crabs, when they come in over here, you can go to the rock pools on the big tides and just go get them. Uh, as you've seen in one of the videos, uh, I did a forage where I found a nice spider crab and that just in the rock pool. That's not uncommon over here uh, when they come in. And it's only a few months till they start again, so we've got some good foraging coming there. Um, do 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 do. Hell yeah, woohoo! What did your dad fish for? He was a commercial potter and netter. Uh, he didn't really fish out of here, he was gone. He would come back for a week and then he was gone for three weeks and then come back. Uh, yeah. And then uh, after about 19 years, 20 years of that, he stopped obviously and then we went into small boats and stuff and that's how I learnt sort of inshore fishing and crab pots and knots and tying rope. Uh, even crab wheels. I made I made this crab wheel here with him when I was about 10 or 12 years old and I've still got it. <laughs> Wolverhampton. Do -do 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 -do. Jay, what's your, what's your favourite seafood? I love it all. Uh, I'm going to say that from now on because I can't just give you one item because I do love it all. And Jake, if you're watching, I made your uh, crab wheel, mate. You gotta come get it. What do ormers taste like? Uh, that's probably the one comment on the channel I have answered the most. Uh, I'd say the taste is a bit like uh, cuttlefish, but the texture's different. It's uh, a bit softer and not chewy, you know? Depending on how you cook them, though. Old spunk nugget. <laughs> That's sick. Uh, do, 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 do. Any lake trips? No. Uh, same as in glorious fishing. I am strictly a saltwater angler and forager, obviously. Do my coos. Uh, I'll do that when the weather clears up, mate. I told you that before. And your crab pot. Uh, I've got enough material to make you one crab pot, Dan. So I will make you one. The other two are mine for the shore. You used your UV light yet? No, I'm gonna go get it. Yeah, I've got my UV light. What am I missing? What's your fave food that isn't seafood? Steak. Uh, tonight I'm having steak as well. Uh, I have steak about two times a week. 400 gram uh, sirloin steak or a ribeye. I've just run up the stairs, but check this out. I was hoping that uh, this would come through clear. 
Does it show up? You see like the line goes luminous and anything really. Uh, cat piss, dog piss, it all shines up. But uh, certain species, certain species when you're foraging at night time, glow as well. So that's gonna be interesting. Oh, waders a big thing there. I get that question quite a lot. Uh, we use waders for the ormering and stuff, but uh, a lot of the time with the foraging, we're walking a, a long way because the lobster holes, we got specific lobster holes we like to get to, like uh, on a 1.5 meter tide or lower. So uh, yeah, we do a lot of walking. So walking around in waders for too long, you sweat out. So we prefer, even if we get a bit wet, we don't care because we cool down in the end. I'll get you more material now. You're gonna have to make yourself some, mate. Uh, I don't have the time, man. You know, you know what I'm like. I'm flat out all the time. Sam at work. Just tuned in. Yeah. It's a disco. Yeah. Please do a UK vlog. I will do. House things. Me town called. That, that shed looks like a crime scene. It's just mad fish and stuff, mate. Uh, Jay, how are you? I'm pretty good, thank you. Uh, a bit aggravated because I want to go and make videos, but I can't at the moment. Hi, Danny. Do, 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 do. It's not a matter of help, uh, Dan. It's a matter of time. I don't have the time to do it. I'm working late for Bri as well at the moment. So I'm working till sort of six most days. Or half six. And then I've got to try and make videos for the channel. It's just, it's a nightmare at the moment. And plus the weather. Uh, do you spearfish? Yes. I do spearfish. I've got, I don't know if you can see it. Uh, I got my gun, the old hand cannon. I put a new shock absorber on it, new rubbers, new spear. Uh, I love my spear fishing. I just haven't had the chance or I didn't have the cameras as well uh, to film it. So that's coming this summer. Get ready for that. I'm going to be pumping out a lot of spear fishing. Uh, I really do want to do, because like I said before, we've got specific lobster holes we like to have a look at every time. Because obviously it's a good chance you're going to find a good lobster. Uh, I want to get the spearfish and stuff on on the nip tides and dive down and try and hand pick out the lobsters and see how that goes. Do -do 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 -do. Make sure you hit that like button, guys. Smash taking the depression away. That's what it's all about. I don't mind looking like a clown if you're happy. Hell yeah. Uh... More oyster foraging. I can. I doubt we're going to find more oysters, to be honest with you. We get the odd ones on the rocks, but the the massive ones we found, uh, we think they were out. They were off cast from the uh, oyster beds, because there's oyster beds not far from where we found those. Uh, but the oysters they grow go to about that. So we reckon in the storm, because sometimes they get washed off and like broken off. Obviously, we reckon they've laid in the rocks for years. Because I spoke to. Uh, a person that works for the Orma, uh, the Orma, the oyster people in Herm. And he said an oyster the size that we found would take about eight or nine years to grow. So that shows how long they've been there. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. What's the weirdest thing you have ever eaten? Probably a live garden snail or a worm or a may bug. Uh, I don't really eat a lot of weird stuff off the beach because you can make yourself very ill. Uh, apart from like the, what was that video? The Urban Foraging. That was probably the most risky video I've ever done. Uh, hence the reason there's a disclaimer in the uh, pinned comment. Don't freaking do it. Uh, da -da 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 -da. I 
I bet you have tapeworms. Nah, I don't, mate. I got a stomach of steel. What country is Smash Fishing in? I'm not in a country, mate. I'm in a small island called Guernsey. Uh, very close to France. We're in the uh, British Channel between France and England. Uh, we're the little dot. <laughs> So I'm struggling to keep up with the comments, guys. You should make some crab lemon and chili linguine. I've cooked ling uh, linguine before, so that could be on the cards, Danny, for sure. Um, Inglorious Fisher looks like he smokes meth. I think he's a beautiful little sod. It's UK, yeah, UK, but close to France. Uh, da -da -da -da. uh I can't remember. I know Guernsey have got different laws to the UK. We've got our own separate law here. But where we stand with everything, I have no idea anymore. I don't pay attention to much of that. Foraging over here in Oz? No way. Uh, don't you get the blue ring octopus and stuff? Nah, there's no way I'm going to be sticking my hand under that. Under rocks and stuff. No way. Uh, right, if I had someone that had experience in that area, then yeah, I'd be more than happy to go foraging. You still looking for a mic? Who's that? For this shed talk, I guess. No. Uh, I was doing a little fishing rap. Uh, I wanted a condenser mic, but how do you see that, whoever that is? That was on my private account. <laughs> Lobster catch and cook, yeah. What am I missing? I'm sorry if I'm missing your comments, guys. <laughs> 63 likes, one dislike. There's always one cunt in the bunch. Uh, what squid jigs do you use? That's a good question. Uh, I've always had problems with squid jigs. Oh, I'll talk about squid jigs, there's one. Uh, I tend to use these because they catch really well the, uh, what are they called? The Flashmer Crystal. Uh, yeah, these catch well, but you, you tap these on a fucking lighthouse. Excuse my French. These will break. They're crap. But they do catch, so I use these. Uh, if you've got any recommendations for stronger lures, then by all means, please let me know. Uh, I won't be going squid fishing again for a while now, because they only come in in certain periods every year. So they're gone now. Check out Young Bloods. I love Young Bloods, mate. Uh, I only watched his channel about six months ago. Uh, yeah, six, four, four, something like that. Uh, brilliant channel, mate. Uh, I love his attitude. I love that he looks after the beaches. I love channels like that, man. Really good channel. Shout out, Youngbloods. Sat Neil Coos Live. <laughs> no, that's a video, Dan. I'm trying to save anything I can for a video at the moment. Because uh, as soon as I get time, if I get a day where I've got eight hours, I'm going to make Crab Pot video, the Coos video. I've got a few more videos I want to do as well. I want to do some melting lead and creating leads and I've got loads of plans, but I hate making videos in the shed. I hate it. Uh, I, I, I tend to stutter a lot if I have to think about a video. I can't just plan something and then record. I'm really bad at it. But when I'm, when I'm like out on the beaches and stuff, then I can chat for Britain. Uh, yeah, it's just, it's just a little bugger that like doing stuff like that it's not my thing um that would be done as you haven't made his coos yeah i'm sure he'd be sending his little haters my way i'm ready for it <laughs> do you watch outdoor chef life i i only found his channel literally four days ago yeah, yeah, I can't speak too much because I like to watch a lot of someone's videos before I try and make a statement on them, you know what I mean? But what I've seen, he does some cool stuff. Uh, I saw the rap. 
Josh from many years ago. Oh, Josh Hosek. Maybe. I think I've got you. Uh, yeah, that was just a little play around run where I was just taking the piss. But uh, we've genuinely got a beat and everything for it. Uh, hold on. I'll just... I don't know. I'll give you a little peek of the uh, the beat. Oh, are we up? Load. Ah, dirty. Ah, dirty. <laughs> but yeah, that's the beat anyway. And if anyone asks, no, I'm not a rapper. I've never made a rap song in my life. So we're just doing it as a bit of fun because we're bored. Uh... Some love, blah, 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 blah. What's that? Any hunting in Guernsey? Rabbits uh, and pigeons, I think. Sushi catch and cook. Yes, I'm going to do some sashimi as well. Uh, is it sashimi or chavitze? Ch I can never say it. Chavitze. Some shit like that. Anyway, you guys are going to hammer me for my, for my names. I got hammered for the uh, chorizo. I call it chorizo. I don't care what anyone else says. <laughs> chorizo. Um, afternoon, Jay. Congrats on 50k. Thank you very much. Uh, I really appreciate how much people are sobbing and stuff at the moment. It's all been a bit of a blur last year. We were so focused just on making the content. Like I didn't really like process it all, really. But it's awesome. The, I, I appreciate the support so much. Uh, drop a new beat. <laughs> well, everyone, I get I get a lot of comments saying, "Oh, you look like B Rabbit and stuff." So this will keep them ones happy. <laughs> um, rabbit's an occasional bird. That's it, mate. I'll send you my. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Do you think you'll ever meet up with Craig Evans? His knowledge is amazing. Uh, hands down, the most knowledgeable uh, forager that I've seen. Hands down. I'd love to do a foraging thing with him. If I ever go to, I think he's in West Wales. I'm pretty sure, I might be wrong. But um, I'd love to go foraging with Craig. I've spoke to Craig quite a few times in Texas. And there's a few like creatures as well that I didn't know. So I'd text him and he'd tell me. Yeah, really good bloke, really nice guy. Uh, what wild animals do you get? Uh, we get we get a really rare one called Inglorious Fishing. <laughs> uh, we don't really get much like like wild animals. I call it like rabbits and birds. We don't even get squirrels over here. My ex gave me crabs. <laughs> Is it hard to fill it, Conga? Can be. Uh, I got taught to fillet a conga when I was very young by my dad, so uh, like the bones in a conga eel is like a circle and then they sort of like fork out three ways. So I usually cut down the side so you get some, some, uh, they're almost like tenderloins, you know what I mean? Yeah, uh, that's, that was an interesting video to make that. We didn't actually want to keep that conga, but because it died, we had to. Uh, do you ever think about coming to the US? Yes, eventually I will. Hell yeah, Jay. We love you. I love you too. Yes, boy. Long in the beard. Hell yeah. Island Live. Blue Tail Dogs. Yeah, we. Guernsey, uh, it even opened my eyes. The amount of lobsters that we find. Like, even down to the small ones. Do you see how many little ones we find? You know? It, it's mad. But it has to be. To find lobsters over here, you can't find lobsters high up the beach. It has to be a 1.2 tide or lower. 
Uh, or is we just don't get to the uh, lobster holes unless we wade in like this much. But yeah, uh, you've got a plan. Like with foraging, it, we, like, it, it all looks good on the videos, but it takes a lot of planning to like go for different lobster holes at certain times, at certain time as well, if that makes sense. Like times of tide and stuff like that. You've really got to, uh, you've got to be quick to the mark. What's the biggest fish you've caught? Either taupe or conga, around, around the 40 pound mark, just under 40 pound. Uh, I didn't have an exact weight, but feeling them, like, you know, you know. Great show, Jay. Thank you for your hard work. Thanks, James Brown. Blah, 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 blah. Love the foraging videos. Would be really good if you did a tour of the mainland UK and show us what's out there. Yes. Uh, yeah, I get that quite a lot. Well, the more people that want to see it, the more I'll do it, to be honest with you. Uh, with the whole channel, I've very much gone off what you guys want to see. If you haven't noticed, look at the foraging. Uh, you guys keep wanting to see it, so I keep making more of it, you know? The, the fishing will never stop. Uh, but, yeah. What you guys want to see is what I make, you know? Well, try to make, so I say. It's not always that easy. Can you try to make lobster cake or conga eel cake? I can make, yeah, I can make conga fish cakes. I'd prefer them as steaks, to be honest, though. Uh, the elusive Dano Wano is the only rare creature in Guernsey. Yeah. He's our only vicious animal in Guernsey. <laughs> Caveman Fisher. I see you everywhere, man. Even in the Inglorious Lives. Uh... Do -do -do -do. Are you cute? No, I don't think I am. Uh, do you watch the fish locker? No, I don't. Uh, Smash put a mirror in the back. Of <laughs> You're talking about Inglorious Fishing's live. Oh, mate, that was the best live he's ever done. Hands down, man. I was cracked up. Even my missus was watching. That was awesome. I loved it. You should see if you can make something that Dano actually likes. That's hard to do. Uh, he is very much garlic bread, baked beans on toast, and chips, and crisps, and uh, maybe a crisp baguette in the morning. That's him. Uh, I've seen him eat a sausage roll once. But, um, yeah. Uh, but the thing is, he shocked me trying to eat that Orma. You know, you've got to give him credit for that, man. Fair play to him. Do, 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 do. <laughs> I don't want to see you fishing in a forced night in Gale. <laughs> nah, I'm alright, thanks. Um, one of the last foraging videos, the uh, clam ones, I filmed in a Force 7 then. Hence the reason I was using the second camera and stuff. Uh, it actually worked really well. Uh, I've been playing around with a lot of camera, like camera angles and stuff lately. Uh, yeah, it's more, it's not really for me to make better videos. I just mainly want to try and keep the noise to a minimum. With a GoPro here, see, I can like crouch down and uh, that makes it a lot more easier. And then I can use the footage of that one to overlay, if you know what I mean. Your foraging and cooking video is always my favourite, thanks dude. Uh, to be honest with you, foraging is one of the most fun videos to make. Because me and Sam are freaking lunatics, so we just go running about like, yeah, let's go find some shit, you know? Uh, there's no pressure of trying to catch a fish, or even though I, I love fishing just as much, but I, I, I definitely love making foraging videos, and it gives me a chance to be experimental as well. Uh, hence the reason with this. I'm sure that's going to, that, that video is going to do well, I reckon. <coughs> uh... Watch that vid, did well with the noise, keep it up mate, thanks mate. Do -do -do -do. Next time we do seafood boil we should add corn, broccoli, potatoes. I'll give that a go Daniel, definitely.
If there was no limit, how would you improve or enhance your channel? If there was no limit to what? Uh, I don't, I don't think there is a limit, to be honest with you. Uh, to be honest with you, I know, I know I can't please everyone, so I make the videos I like. If that makes sense, I make them to my own taste. Uh, you know, you attract what you are at the end of the day. So, yeah, I don't, that's a hard question to ask. That's a hard, that's a hard one. I don't know. Uh, I, I don't really see a limit with any of this, to be honest with you. Um, do, 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 do. do you get enough? Do you get enough produce from Guernsey, or do you get it shipped up? in the shops? We uh, most of the stuff shipped over, yeah. Uh, the island's so small, I, I I don't really know to be honest with you. I know a lot of bread and milk and stuff like that's all shipped in. No, sorry, milk isn't. I'm not going to talk on it because I don't actually know. I'm just guessing now. Uh, have you ever stood in the weaver fish? No, but been very close. Don't look into the UV light. <laughs> yeah, I haven't been doing nothing dodgy, so it's sound. Smash Ramsey. That's, that's been going around quite a lot lately. I've been getting a lot of DMs from people saying about that. Smash Ramsey. Hell yeah. Eat something, innit? If you eat something from its shell and it's not right, will it make you puke or make you run to the toilet? It depends. Um, I've never been physically sick from foraging, ever. Uh, as, as much of a lunatic I am, uh, I do think about what I'm doing all the time. Uh, simply because some things can kill you, end of, but most of the time, if you get something wrong, you're going to get the shits. Uh, but I don't want, that's not an invitation to go out and just eat what you want, because you will get really ill if you do. Um, just, just have your wits about you and use common sense. Anything slightly open or slightly dead, throw it away immediately. Don't even take the risk. Um, yeah, where's Sam? Sam's out and about at the moment. He's probably picking Amy up, yeah. How often do you do, do you come to the mainland? Not very often. Uh... A lot of my my other half of the family's in the mainland, so yeah, it was the last time I went to see them. Uh, I've got everything I need in Guernsey. I'm very much an islander. I love this place, so I don't need to go anywhere. Uh, apart from uh, apart from taking the missus on holiday for her birthday or going away for something like that, then it's fair, you know. Uh, what was that? I second what Joe D said. Do you have a P.O. box? I'm still a lazy bastard. <laughs> yeah. Um, I've got all the paperwork and all that for it. Uh, and it's only 170 quid to open it for the year. But I am just keep forgetting, to be honest with you. I just forget. Uh, that could go either way on the raw side, yes. Eating things raw is risky. Uh, you have to have a clean beach, but yeah, that's all I'm gonna say on that. <laughs> like I've taken risks before, so there's you no, know, there's no, there's no hiding that fact. I take risks now and again. Use your UV light on a banknote. What does that do? What's your star sign? I'm a Scorpio. I got a sting in my tail. <laughs> I'm in Cumbria. Uh, someone from Cumbria won my uh, giveaway at a thousand subs. Jesus, that wasn't that wasn't long ago. Valerie, uh, I really enjoy all your videos, especially your catch and cooks. You are creative making your crab traps and weights. Thanks, Valerie. I see you commenting a lot. I appreciate that. Thank you. Do -do 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 130 people in the live and 85 likes guys hit that like button We got two sobbing little haters that I disliked it 
Uh, what's other hobbies? I take it that's what's your other hobbies. Uh, chilling with my girlfriend or working. That's me. Uh, I'm very much a workhorse. I, I work with my boss all week. And then all of my spare time goes on YouTube. Because it's not just, oh, I'll make a video and upload it. I've got all of the other side of it as well. All the processing and all the bloody accounts and running the business side and taxes. And there's a lot that goes into all this crap as well, you know. Um, yeah, sometimes if we make a video, I'm very much someone who wants to get it edited straight away. So uh, if I know I'm doing something the next day, I'll be up till five o'clock in the morning. And then up, up, like go to sleep at sort of. Caught to six, have an hour's sleep, and then I'll get up for work at half seven. Uh, yeah, I'm very much like that. I'm a workhorse. Uh, I don't stop. I've been like that since I started YouTube. Uh, very determined. Um, how tall are you? I'm six foot one. Six foot one, 14 stone. Of fat. And seafood. What do you do for work? General builder. When's your birthday? 22nd of November. I was born in 1991. Uh, thumbs down. They must be bored. We all got our haters, man. I love them all the same. Don't worry. I've got plenty of haters. Would you ever do a camping video, a 24 hour survival video? Survival videos are definitely coming. Um, it's a bit tricky with survival videos because I can walk to my house within an hour. You know what I mean? So everyone's just going to have to take my word that I stay on the beach at the end of the day. But yeah, I will be doing stuff like that. Uh, who said that? Uh, Daniel. Fishing bug. Who would you... Who would you rather be stranded with, Ray Mears or Bear Grylls? Uh, I don't care, to be honest with you. They're both legends. Uh, I've watched both of those, those lads. So, yeah, any of them. And if they die, I'll be eating them. So there we go. <laughs> what do you do for work, Jay? I'm a general builder. When's your birthday? Have I just gone down again or not? Hey Smash. Had a few unexpected winter mackerel. Shit. Help a river. That's interesting. Mackerel. We're getting spider crabs already. My dad had a few in his pots as well. That's mad. Right, we shouldn't be getting we should not be getting them now. Twenty second is my friend's brother's wife's birthday. <laughs> um, we need Jay and Dano to do a naked and afraid video. I'm game. Let's do it. Please use your UV light on a banknote. All right, I'll go get a note. Right, let's see if some money glows up. I don't know how much money I've got in here. That's probably something people ain't seen. That's a pound note. I think it's only the Channel Islands that have got them now. Everywhere else, pound coins, I think. Um, should we try? Nothing secret on that one. Nothing on that one. Oh, what's that? Can you see that, guys? What's those markings? Can anyone tell me? Or is everything crashing right now?
God save the Queen. Just going to make sure everything's still going. Yeah, it's my laptop that crashed. Can you see it? Reveals one of many markers. Genuine note. All oh, right, I never knew that. Learned something new today. Got weird ass tribal markings on our notes. Nothing on those. The pound notes are too cheap. They don't want to do it. <laughs> that was a good question though. Fair play. Whoever brought that up. 117 likes. That's more like it, guys. Hell yeah. Not showing up on camera. How do you keep your sense of humour when careless people don't put the rocks back and pick up their litter? Uh, it's one of them things that's going to happen. I don't, I don't get angry at it. It just just gets irritating because then we go and freaking throw them all back um coke stains <laughs> no i don't know if you've seen it guys let's try it oh what do i do with that torch i'll put the bloody torch down that's how oh there it is was that it where the fuck is that gone Bear with me guys, I'm not with it. <laughs> Where is that torch? Oh, there we go. Hopefully you can see this. Oh look, there's more when you turn the light off. Right, I've got to wait for the live to load on my laptop so you can see it. Let me know if you can see that guys. Can't see it on the laptop. No idea. If you can't see it, stuff luck. Um, well, I've got bloody money there and everywhere now. My smash picture quality is so much better, mate. Yes, that's because I've brought my smash laptop out. Uh, this is my laptop that I only use for YouTube. I'm going to use it for the lives for now on. Because I wanted it to be in 1080p instead of it all pixelated. Uh, the plastic money's coming out soon, yeah. They're bringing out polymer £20 notes or something, eh? Picture quality is so much better. Blah, 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 blah. Jay, we know. Jay, we know how much Dano makes. How much do you make on off YouTube? I make bait money. Yeah, my money pays for bait. Uh, I'm not one for revealing all my stuff, to be honest with you. Uh, I feel like a bit of a ponce if I did, so I don't want to. Better the light off. Yeah, I know, this ugly mug's a bit, bit shameful. Uh... Can I go with you sometime? I think down the road from you, important for Bay. Uh, Ray Red 74. How old are you though, dude? Uh, I can't have people uh, under 16 in my videos anymore because I get demonetized. But I am looking for people to come with me. Do 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 do. <laughs> You're not going to show us your white teeth with your UV? No, I'm alright. Have you ever been in a physical fight? No. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm one of those people, uh, I'll be nice to you if you're nice to me. That's all I am. Uh, I'd never insult someone uh, unless they did something to me. That's what I'm like. But if they took a swing for me, then all hell would break loose. I'm not saying that I'm hard, I just like to like to swing a lot. Do, 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 do. What do you mean inglorious? Is that what you call it? Um Inglorious Fishing wants you to go. <laughs> I've had freaking. I've had people DM me about this, yeah? Inglorious Fishing, you're an asshole. 
He got all the fans to come and attack me to come out in the boat saying I don't want to go. It's not that. It's because I've got my own videos to make. I've got weather to deal with. I have a girlfriend to look after and a job. So it's timing. Uh, I'd love to go out all the time on the boat, but no. Because he don't like me deep down. Now nah, I want to punch you down. You know I love you really. That's why I call him my wife. We've been friends for so long. Uh, like I grew up around his family. You know what I mean? Uh, we've, we've been friends so long. You're going to hear us insult each other. Talk shit about each other. And we'll still come back like, alright mate. That's us. It's one of those friends. You can, just, you can be a complete asshole and we'll still be mates tomorrow. You know what I mean? How old are you? I'm 28. JD Blaze, no. I have been to Amsterdam. Uh, is Sam at work? No, I don't think so anymore. He's probably chilling. What would you do if your spots got leaked? Nothing, because the lobster holes, you won't, you, you'll, be, you'll, be, you'll be lucky to find them. You have, like I said before, you have to have that low tide and know where they are. And you have to be there within an hour or the tide will come back up. So, even when I'm filming, I don't care about showing some spots, because I know people ain't going to find them. And you have to have a good eye, because a lot of the time, a good thing to know about lobsters is, if you've got a rock ledge coming like that in a sandy bay, right? The lobsters will be down about a foot and a half in the side of the rock. You always see like a big mound of sand coming out. That's the telltale. Is where the sand mounds out. Yeah, it could be a gap like this. But underneath, it would have dug it all out and made its home. Um, that's why I'm confident in finding them. Uh, and I don't really care if people go looking. You know what I mean? I want to encourage people to go foraging and stay safe, obviously. Bait money. You know it. Would you punch Dan? Yeah, I've punched him before, I think. Haven't I hit you before? I swear I hit you at the fishing meal. <laughs> Dan was flexing last night. Um... <laughs> punch each other for free. Yeah, that's probably true, man. Hello from state of Virginia, blah, 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 um, donkey punch, now I fight like this, I go, <laughs> um, could you punch me first, all right, probably, we were pissed, how do you not get your fingers pinched off, I do get my fingers pinched, uh, quite often, uh, it's mainly when a lobster gets you, not with the crushing claw, it's the pincer claw, the, the slicer. When that gets your finger, that freaking hurts. They won't break your bones though. Um, I say that, I haven't been bitten by a big five pounder or something yet. But like little lobsters, they're not going to break your, they're not going to break your hand or anything. They're going to hurt, but they're, they're not going to hurt you that bad. Um, rowdy boys. Nah, uh, we've got a lot of respect for everyone, but uh, we treat people how they treat us. That's exactly how it is. Uh, if someone starts acting up being a dick, then we'll either cut you out and ignore you or call you an asshole. That's exactly how it is. What do you mainly target in the summer? Everything. Uh, gilt heads, spider crabs, lobsters, uh, everything. Uh, the, lob the big lobsters especially start coming in soon. Uh, hence the reason we've been finding so much small stuff. Uh, you'll find that through the videos, like through the years. You'll notice that we'll have a really good period of lobsters and then they'll die out and we'll find smaller ones. And yeah, uh, I'm still learning about finding lobsters, but it's amazing how much we've learned so far. It's good. Uh, Hope Fishing Tom. With the flooding up. What, has no one heard from Fish and Tom, is it? Oh, I hope he's okay, man. How you doing, Scott? Anyway, I haven't spoke to you in a while, mate. You've been subscribed for a while now, eh? Mm. 
what's the worst nick you've got from foraging? Uh, which hand was it? Oh, look, it's still the hole in my hand there. Um, I picked the rock up and it slid off my hand and the barnacle took literally, it was like, it was like something overall shape, just took a chunk out of my finger. That was about it. Uh, I've never had any bad injuries, to be honest. Touch wood. Uh, foraging is very dangerous, so please be careful. Uh, have you ever been sick from foraging? No. I have been on the toilet a couple of times, but never physically sick, no. Uh, like I said before, as mad as we are and how, how much we have high pose and... Have, have a laugh with it. Uh, we do we do know what we're doing with what we're eating, you know what I mean? Uh, yes, I do take risks now and again. I'll be the first one to tell you that, but some stuff definitely do not copy. But if I do eat something bad or something, I'll always put a disclaimer somewhere saying don't do it, you know what I mean? What does over the moon mean? Happy, excited, ecstatic. What are you doing, bro? Just chatting to the subs. That's all I'm doing today. When did you start? About two years ago I started YouTube. Uh, I think it's about two years ago. Do you like the lives like this, guys? Uh, if this is a better way of doing it, then I'll do it this way more often. Uh, it's actually a lot easier for me to read the comments and I'm not staring in the screen like this, like a poltergeist. Um... The most delicious thing you have ever foraged and eaten, the Orma Burgers. Um, most of the time I'll tell you oysters or lobsters, yeah? Those Orma Burgers, swear to God, oh, they were good. Like, yeah, they were good. Over a year, Jay, my boy, uh, was on the 9th of Feb. Nice. I remember chatting to you when your kid was being born. That shows how much I chat to the subs, um, in comments and stuff. I love to chat to you guys. Um, Scott is, I think, it, I think it was you, man. I'm pretty sure of it. Uh, he was, his kid was being born. He was watching the videos. <laughs> uh, we were just chatting. We were chatting for a while as well. Um, what, what was that? Jay, make poor Dano some lobster traps with doors, please. Uh, all in good time, buddy. It will happen. When is your next video? I couldn't tell you. Um, I have no idea. Uh, hence the reason I'm doing a live now. I just want to put something out there. Uh, I tend to lose my mind after a while. I'm stuck inside. I, I'm definitely an outdoors person. Uh, lives are king. The interaction is awesome. Yeah, that's exactly it. Um... Uh, I'd much prefer to watch Cocker's lives, to be honest, or Dano. <laughs> uh, I think Dano, everyone should spam Dano, yeah? Pay him back for his little antics, because tell him to keep doing lives and more of them. Because me and the missus love watching them as well. So yeah, everyone should spam in glorious fishing. Jay twisting up a blunt. Nah, no, it's just a fag. Uh, I'm actually trying to cut down fags at the moment. This is my fifth one today, so I'm not doing bad, considering I usually smoke about 25. Would you ever consider heading to San Diego, California for a, a grunion run? Uh, I don't know what that is, mate. I don't know if you're having me on or what. <laughs> um, my son is due to be born tomorrow, and if... If not tomorrow, oh, congratulations, Blake. I hope all goes well, buddy. Smoking is bad for you. It's stupid. I don't know why I started uh, being honest with you. Fucking annoys me. You were out last Friday night. Uh, did you get pissed? Oh, I got so pissed. I swear to God, I drank, I drank, uh, I think it was about two-thirds of a, uh, of a rum, rum litre. I was fucked. The next day, Jesus Christ, man. Uh, I don't drink often, but when I do, I'll drink. I'll drink a lot. Um, yeah, it was good though. Me and Sam were there till one o'clock in the morning making this wrap up and that. Oh, it's hilarious. 
We had a right blast. Uh, you've been there. For, you've been there for all, a lot of us during the really important times of our lives. Your vids got me through, through a breakup. Oh, that's good to hear, Danny. Uh, all the best. There's plenty more fish in the sea, as they say. You just got to find yourself a keeper. Spider crab or lobster or abalone or conga eel. List. List to your favourite thing that. Eh? To catch, eat, best, best to least. I can't read very well, so you're making this difficult. Um, I'm not going to ask that question simply because I don't understand it. Shout out to Bristol. Uh, I don't plan on vaping. I don't know if any of you guys have seen that video where this bloke did a test on fags. A joint of weed and uh, a vape but the shit that came out the vape was disgusting uh, like don't get me on this ain't any better but um yeah that was quite interesting that video please stop all your money be gone before you know it uh, I don't know what you're talking about there mate you're on about smoking um, one of these lasts me a week, so I spend about 15 quid a week. Yeah, it's fun. New to your site, great stuff, Smash. Braid or mono? Um, mono for rock fishing, like the big rods, congas. Um, yeah, I don't like braid for those, because if you get a wind knot or something, it ruins the whole trip. But for spin fishing... Like bass fishing and that, I use 20 pound braid with a 20 pound mono, uh, fluorocarbon leader. And I find that's the best braid when you're spinning. Now you can cast like twice as far, so that's nah, good. Do -do 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 -do. I've already shouted out Bristol Pool. Uh, I like how you don't mind swearing. I don't mind swearing on the lives because a lot of the time I delete them. In the main videos, I don't like it because I do have a lot of children that watch. And uh, I don't like watching videos where they're swearing in them anyway, to be honest with you. So I don't do it. But in the lives, I don't really care, to be honest with you. I'm just myself, so. Go on, play the rap now. Nah. Give up clams or give up crab. One must go. Oh. Oh, I secretly hate you. I don't know. One's got to go. I'd give up crabs. D oh, I don't know. No, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. That's a hard one. Did you mean oysters as well? Uh, if you're, if oysters are involved as well, then I'd pick I'd pick the clams. When you drink a lot, drink a lot before you go to bed. Uh, I don't even remember going to bed, so drinking a glass of water is definitely not in my in my book. Do -do 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 -do. Um. Um, what's Sam's job? He is a carpenter by trade. I believe he's fully qualified as well. I'm not sure. Um, yeah, and he does a few bits and bobs as well. Love from Amsterdam. I love Amsterdam. It's a brilliant place to go. No more fishing with subscribers. One fish and that. That's all, folks. Makes a boring seven minute video. Well, don't watch it then, mate. Um, I'm not going to stop fishing with subscribers just because one person don't like them. Uh, one bass is better than none at the end of the day. Depends how you want to look at it. I secretly hate you. <laughs> Fair play. Um, do -do 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 -do.
Uh, I'm not a big fan of uh, like brown crab. I love I love spider crabs and lady crabs because they're really sweet. Did you smoke in Amsterdam? Maybe. I like your videos, bro. Cheers, mate. If you had to choose one bass lure, what would it be? I think I've got 40 bass videos on the channel, and I can guarantee 80% of them will have this scary zeal. Sidewinder scary zeal. 25 gram. Uh, that's the number one catcher on the channel, or the Numura lure. Uh, John Turner, stop blanking me and Dano. <laughs> Yeah, watch it, boy. I'll put you on a timeout for acting like a child. <laughs> uh, uh, we've made crab cakes before, uh, Caveman Fisher. Out of spider crabs. That was really good, that. I'm really looking forward to this year, though, because I've got the GoPros now. Um, before, I was filming on an iPhone 6, so like the videos weren't as good quality as I wanted. But the GoPros, the, the GoPro 8s are awesome. Surprisingly good as well. Uh, as long as you ramp up the bit rate, it stays crisp. So I'm looking forward to all the uh, spider crabs. And if we go with the wheels and blank, I'm just going to jump in the water with the GoPro. And I'll go diving for them. Went to, like, went to the red light district for a stag do. Unreal place. <laughs> yeah, I bet you were lost for a while, mate. Um, will you come to the Yorkshire coast and do some catch and cook videos? Possibly one day, mate. Um, I'm not really sure. Who knows where we're going to go, to be honest. Uh, I'm a very random person as well. So, if I'm going to go on holiday, it'll probably be like, out of the blue. Boom, I'm going, you know? So, we'll see. Dr. J. Brill, your new beat is sick. <laughs> uh, Smash Shady. There you go, that's the name. All right. <laughs> a little conga. <laughs> oh, yes. I might title it that. That's quite cool. Uh, I'm not saying this rap's going to be good, by the way. I'm not a rapper. I've never written a rap in my life, but I've, uh, I've started. Uh, have you been offered many sponsorships yet? Yes, I do. Usually, uh, I get about four or five a month. Uh, certain prices and certain like money to spend in stores and that, but I don't take them. Uh, mainly because I don't need anything. I've got everything I need. Uh, I get paid for views, so I don't... I'm not one for just taking, taking it because it's there. And plus, if someone gives me a shit product and I'm taking their money to advertise their product i'd feel like an idiot yeah if i take their stuff out and break it you know i'm called smash for a reason like i break everything smash is shady you know it um smash wavy marshall smashes <laughs> marshall smashes that's sick uh you gonna make a music video yeah yeah, definitely. Like, I wouldn't... Yeah, I don't half-ass things, man. If I'm going to do it, I'm going to make it... F it's going to be funny as well, like... Like, don't expect me to come in like Eminem or serious, like, because it's not going to happen. I'm a clown, so I, li I like to have fun with it. When are you going to do a live catch and cook? That would cost me a fortune on 4G. You're a real honest guy. I love it, pal. Cheers, mate. Uh, same as in Glorious, we don't really know how to be anything else, to be fair. Um, yeah, I'm very straightforward. I, I offend people sometimes, because I can be a bit honest sometimes. If I think someone's bullshit, and I'll call them bullshit, you know what I mean? Uh, how many tripods have you had? Last year I went through 16. I've gone through four this year so far. I've got a few broken ones in here somewhere. Peace out, bro. Keep it real. Cheers, Paul. Vanilla smash. <laughs> smash has to be... Oh, Sam has to be wearing sunglasses. Yeah.
Uh, thanks, Scott, mate. I always see you commenting and liking everything, so cheers, mate. I really appreciate that. Cheers, mate. Are you heavy-handed? Yeah, I am quite heavy-handed, mate. Uh, I've got very big hands. And plus, I'm very reckless, to be honest. Post my lobster. <laughs> That's a lot of sick. Hell yeah. Gotta go back to work later. See you, Mark. Best rod and reel. Uh, beach rods. I cannot fault the Sonic. Sonic SKSs. I've had some beasts on those rods. And the uh, Daiwa Windcast, I think they're called. Uh, I'm not a big tackle tart, to be fair. Uh, as long as a rod and reel is strong enough to cope with me, then I'm happy. And for the congas. Heavy handed when beaten off, you know it. Uh, Should have kept those sunnies you've been for Sam. <laughs> that was quite funny. Did you get the shot? I was like, I was trying to be a bit funny with the uh, camera angle. I was like, w like recording off the chest, and I was like, oh bugger! I'll put them on and then start recording like this. It actually turned out really well. Did you say you got big hands? <laughs> wink, wink. Love the vid, mate. I can't get out much. If you visited Hollyhead and foraged, maybe one day, mate. Um. Obviously, as the channel goes bigger and bigger, I'll be saving more money. So, yeah, where we go, I have no idea. Ormsy. <laughs> Sick. Uh, when's the next one? I've been enjoying your pals as well and glorious fishing. Got the bug back looking for. For a boat now, get up. Nice. Paul Simpson. Um, I don't know when my new, when a new video is coming, mate. The weather's been so bad lately, and I've been so busy. Uh, yeah, I just haven't been able to make anything. Fishing is so cool. Yeah, it is. Fishing is life. But I watched the whole ad for you. Ha, <laughs> cheers, mate. <laughs> Rob Kirkwood. It made Brill watching. Thanks, mate. Uh, I always try and have like a little comedy factor because we're quite humorous people and bubbly, you know. Uh, like I've said countless times, I'm not trying to be anything special. Uh, I just do it because it's fun, you know what I mean? And it's what we love doing. Is there, lo uh, is there limits on lobsters and crabs you can catch? Yes, there is. Uh, I can't remember them right now, but there are. Uh, we got size limits as well. I don't have any gauges with me, so I can't really show you. Uh, you ever invite girls into your shed? No, I've got my lady, thank you. Do you ever enter fishing comps? I was in a fishing club with uh, Inglorious Fishing for how long, Dan? Uh, yeah, me and Dan were doing it for ages. We got all sorts of trophies and medals and all sorts of stuff. But, um... <laughs> when I started YouTube, uh, all my focus went on it, so, yeah, I gave it up. Do you eat oysters? Yes. Do you ever get seasick? Uh, not for a very long time. Um, the last time I got really seasick was out with Inglorious, Glorious Fishing's brother, Shells. Uh, we The night before, we went out and got absolutely hammered. And then we decided to take my boat out. <laughs> and we took it right out. There's a place called Flag Rock. So we went right at the back of that, and it was lumpy. So, <coughs> yeah, the motion of the boat, we were both puking our guts up. But we still carried on fishing, though. Three years. Three years we were in the club. Yeah, Dano, go live tonight when I'm off, off, off this live. I don't even know what time it is. What time is it? Half six. Ah, oh, Sam. Uh, I'll probably stay live till seven, guys, and then I'll, I'll leave it. 
Snoop Dogg fish. Um, Scott. <laughs> I'm not commenting on that anymore. Um, I'm stream. Shift now. Time to chill with smash fishing. Woo! <laughs> Marshall smashes. Area travel to the ocean. Do, do, do. Uh, what do you do uh, if you have a bad storm on the island? And what kind of soda do you drink there? Just out of curiosity, Coke, Dr Pepper. I drink water. Um, it's it's not often that I drink like anything really, like alcohol and Coke and stuff. I might have a glass of Coke when me and my girlfriend are having tea, and that's it. Uh, a lot of the time, I just drink water. My oh, lord, you're only allowed. Use five pots, I'm only allowed to take one lobster and five crab per day. Oh, fair play. Uh, I think, I'm not sure, I think our, our limits are a little bit higher than that. I can't, I can't remember, to be honest with you. Um, when are you going to do a live catch and cook? Uh, probably not. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Easy eel, that's a good one. Conga Couge. Right, John, you're going on a timeout. <laughs> I'm only joking. Can you make... Inglorious... <laughs> uh, what's the longest, you boys... Let your pot sit and still get live lobsters. Well, uh, Dano picks this up a lot more often than I do because mine, mine's probably smashed up on the rocks by now, to be honest with you. I haven't been out. We've had serious storms on the coast where my crab pot was. But um, I usually leave mine three or four days and it, that's if I can get back to it. Um, but sometimes I'll leave it for three weeks. Uh, uh, one time, yeah, there was. Uh, where I left it for ages because of a storm. It was about three weeks, two and a half, three weeks. And there was two baby lobsters still in it. So, and they were live. Um, as for Dano, I don't know. You'll have to ask him. Dano, I tried for you. <laughs> Dano knows how stubborn I am. Do you like hockey? No. Uh, I used to play it at school. Yeah, JB. Um, the cameras never do things justice. Uh, when I say we're on cliffs, a lot of the time we're 20 foot on a cliff ledge. You know what I mean? Uh, some people don't understand that. Um... Do, 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 do. Louisiana. <laughs> ASAP Rockling. <laughs> That's sick. Water. Council estate pot. I grew up on it. You know it. Uh, do, do, do. What advice would you give someone new to fishing? Start with something small, uh, like an easy fish, like wrasse or float fishing or something like that. Um, if you can get yourself catching fish, like, easily, it, you'll have more fun. And then you can move on to, like, bass and gilts and, you know. Uh, if you go for the hard fish straight away, like, chances are you're going to blank quite a few times. So, like, it might you might lose the enthusiasm. Like, if I take, like, the kids or... Or my girlfriend or something. I like to take them where someone that's easy to fish for. Uh, then they come back again. You know what I mean? What's that? A good video would be a little version of your bloopers, fails, and mishaps. No way. Um, that would be some serious editing. Uh, I save every video onto SD cards. And I, I don't know how many videos I've got on there now. 
So yeah, doing that, um, that'd be some serious work on my part, to be honest. Longest one month, there you go. Yeah, if you've got crab pot you, uh, questions, you're better off talking to Inglorious. Um, he does it a lot more often than I do. Why do you dislike hockey? Explain, I don't. I don't dislike it, I just don't play it. Um, is that weed? No, it's not. Uh, it's just a fag. Fishing off the cliff ledge from his boat. Mackerel is a good starter when they're in, yeah. Uh, and a good thing as well, if you're just starting out fishing, chat to a couple of uh, experienced fishermen. Not the not the arrogant ones that won't tell you anything. But, um, yeah, chat to some people. Because they will give you the tips that you need. Like, same with anything. Fishing, foraging. It's all about getting tips from people and books and YouTube or anything. Like, you know what I mean? Oh my god, peeps, he don't smoke weed. No, I don't. Um, Rassing is a good starter. As they will attack anything you drop on them. Yeah, I love my Rass fishing. Texas rigging with £10 line on the little ugly stick. Ah, oh, it's great fun. They don't understand that term for a sec. It's a cigarette. It's tobacco. Um, if I was smoking weed right now, my eyes would be as red as the devil's dick, so, there we go. If you got a pound for every time you were asked about weed, you'd probably be rich. Yeah, that's so true, mate. Uh, I even get people DM me on uh, Instagram about it. It's like, do you smoke weed, mate? It's like, because you're always hypo. It's like, nah, I'm just a bubbly person, mate. <laughs> Uh, what's the address for people who want to send some items? I haven't I haven't made a PO box yet, but I will do it eventually Smoking gonna kill you Jay, you should probably stop. Yes Fishing takes patience. I cannot take my best mate because he doesn't have the patience <laughs> do, 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 do. Do you know Matt Letizia? I don't know him personally, no I don't, but I know who he is. Hope you're well, yeah, I'm very well. Thank you, Francis. Won't click in my head. Hi on live, mate. Uh, yeah. I'm very much one of those people. Uh, I always look on the positive side of things. I don't let myself get dragged down. Um, like we all do now and again, don't get me wrong. I have my bad days. But for the most part, if I, if, I, if I feel myself getting in some sort of mood, I'm very quick to sort myself out, if that makes sense. Check it. I call it checking myself. Um, same as the comments. If someone says, oh, you're being a bit of this, I'll definitely take the, I'll take the criticism, though. I'm very good at taking it like, oh, is that true? You know what I mean? If I think it's bullshit, it's bullshit. But, yeah, I like, you know what I mean? you got to take people's advice sometimes. Weed makes you lazy. <laughs> Who are your favourite YouTubers? I've got a few. Um, I love Earl's Fishing Adventures. I love Portsmouth Angler. Inglorious Fishing. Uh, there's quite a few to be honest. I, I'm subscribed to a lot of people. Um, will you ever do lake or freshwater foraging in the future? I don't know. Uh, I don't know to be honest. 
You brought a little inglorious rod yet? No. I'm going to make him a little foraging hook. <laughs> Any tips for fishing for congas from a clean beach? Last year, I mean, lots of sub five pounders on my local beach. Ah, oh, that's something that's tricky though. Targeting congas on a sandy beach is hard. They usually just come off random, you know what I mean? Same as like, we were guilted fishing in a video quite a while back now. And I had a 22 pound conga on the beach. And that was on a size two hook. A two hook? Yeah, two hook. And um, I don't know how you target them off a clean beach, to be honest with you, mate. Uh, if they're in the area, then fair enough. But all of our conga fishing is in rough, snaggy ground or off the piers, you know? Are you getting your spear fishing stuff ready for the uh, summer? Yeah. Got the cannon ready, baby. You guys are hilarious. Thanks, Jenny. Smash on weed would be awesome. Nah. Do -do -do -do. To be honest with you, we run over the rock so fast, if we were stoned, we'd probably be breaking legs, to be fair. I love your positive attitude. Have you caught anything yet? Uh, I've caught a cold in the shed. It's bloody freezing in here. <laughs> uh, Earl's fishing. You really did him a good turn with tackle you sent him. Good on you, bud. Ah, no problem, mate. Um, yeah, I really like Earl, mate. He's really down to earth guy. I'm really fond of him, I must admit. Uh, would you come and hunt with a rifle for big game with me? Probably not. I'd feel awful if I shot something with a gun, to be honest with you. I've killed rabbits and that. I mean, like, something big, I'd feel a bit... Ugh. That's not me, like, you know? Well, I don't diss anyone that does it, you know? But, um, yeah, it's not for me. Does Sam smoke? Yeah, he smokes fags. Is it hard to catch congas? Sometimes. Um, not all the time. Uh, some spots, as long as the weather's, the wind's in the right place. Because a lot of the cliff marks and stuff, if the wind's coming in on the cliff, you're going to get washed off it. So you can only fish them at certain times. But some spots, you're guaranteed to catch a conga. But what size? It depends what's there. Um, so, is it hard to catch congas? I'd say no. Because you can catch whips quite easily. Do some rig making streams, pal. I've tried that. Um, I get so engrossed in chatting to you guys that it just never works. I've still got my rig wallet here from last time. Oh, oh Michelle. Do, 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 do. Yeah, Earl's got a bad back at the moment, mate. I was chatting to him before on my lunch. Craig Evans is a legend. Shooting for fun, yeah. If you had targets, mate, I'd be well up for that. I'd be fun. Will you eat conga? Uh, there's a conga catch and cook on the channel. Um, I won't just go out my way to catch conga to kill it. Uh, reason being, they nearly got wiped out by the French longliners, and they're still making a recovery. Like, you used to be able to catch a big conga quite easily over here, uh, years ago. How do you get an amazing shed with internet? My house is about 15 yards from here, so my laptop can pick it up, but you're on 4G on this. Uh, mainly because I want this to actually be quite clear instead of crackly. Do you like the brown meat of a crab's head? Yes, I do. Uh, a lot of the time, when, when we got crabs and stuff, uh, it's a big mess to film it all. So a lot of the time, I won't film it. What's you got in before then? Shout out. And Mrs. Smash. Mrs. Smash is in my room, I think. 
Yeah, she's up there. Do you guys catch squid? Yes, there's a few, few, uh, there's a few catch and cook squids. I think one of them, my, my girlfriend outfished me. <laughs> uh, she caught this giant cuttlefish, it was a monster. And I had to hold the rod with her and pull the line in while she reeled just to get it up the wall. <laughs> I will volunteer the wife for target practice. <laughs> You don't have it. You don't have electricity in the shed. Yeah, that's why I've got this. Um, my laptop plugged in as well. Yes, Andy. The octopus over here. I don't know if you're over here, Andy, but yeah, the octopus got done in the big freezer. Eh? Uh, that's why we don't get much over here. Tell your girlfriend, go, you go, girl. <laughs> Happy birthday, Jason. It's my, it's my boyfriend's birthday, too. Forage and cook live. I can't do stuff live like that because it costs me a fortune. Um, yeah, 4G costs a lot as pay as you go. And plus, to be fair, I'd rather edit those videos properly and make it a good viewing experience. With a live on the phone, it's going to be crackly, windy, and just a nightmare. What's better, lady crab, spider crab, or brown crab? Uh, deep fishing, that's a good question. I think brown crab's the worst, for me, personally. You get a lot of meat in them, but I don't like it. I don't, I'm not a big fan of it. Not that I don't like it. It's just, it's not, it's not my thing. I prefer the sweeter tasting crab, spider crab for sure. Oh, fresh spider crab straight out the sea, yeah? Steam it in some garlic butter. Oh, god damn. Cornwall bud. Would you go fishing for Goliath Grouper? That is on my bucket list. Uh, sword fishing is on my buck bucket list and deep water fishing. Uh, all of those are on my bucket list, so I will do those before I die. <laughs> happy smash. Definitely got a happy smash. Bit irritated because I can't make videos at the moment, to be honest with you, but... Happy... It's not... Is everyone saying happy birthday to me? Because it's not my birthday. I don't know who's, who's saying happy birthday to. Do -do -do -do. When does the season begin for crabs and lobsters there? Uh, we get crabs and lobsters all year. But, um... In the next couple of months, towards the start of summer and spring and stuff, well, well, end of spring, um, the lobsters, they tend to go mad. Especially for foraging, we find a lot in, the, in sort of uh, spring to start of summertime. So hopefully we can stop finding these little piddly ones I keep finding. I want to find some big ones. Um, hi from Janine in Paul Dorset. Have you have you been here before? No, I can't say I have, to be honest. Do you know if you get spider crab in Scotland? Um, I don't know. I know a lot of the UK get them at the same time as us. Spider crabs come in one big mass. So, how far they reach, I don't know. I've got a pet gaper clown. It's called the wife. <laughs> um, any tips for beginners? Uh, tips on what? Um, I do a lot of different stuff, to be honest. Love every vid. Uh, Slow-mo parts are funny. <laughs> um, Do, do, do. 
Uh, does does the missus eat your catches and forages ever? No, she doesn't like it. Yes. <laughs> um, but she's happy to come out when the weather's good, uh, as long as it's warm. Uh, girls don't seem to like cold. Favourite worm bait? Worm. Rock worm. I don't think you get it over there, fish and bog. We got a worm. It's a predatory worm over here. Grows like bigger than this, but it's thick. Some of them can go like as thick as your little finger. Little finger. Uh, it's almost like a giant ragworm, but it's got like a metallic, well, this sort of uh, colour to it, like the Orma shells. Um, that is a killer bait, man. It's a real killer. But it takes some doing to get them. You've got to use these. You've got to use picks and uh, pick the rocks out to get them. Hence the name uh, rockworm. Have you ever visited the United States? No. Do you run over the rocks? Do, 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 do. Have you ever seen deer meat for dinner? Yes. I watched that spearfish and marlin one the other day. That was sick. That was awesome. Remember when you bombed that mermaid out of sea? Yeah. Um. Oh yeah, nice to see you got in before Dano. Big shout out. Big shout out to Sam and Mrs. Smash. Thanks, mate. Rusty has taken over, bro. He's a fast typer, that's why. Do you have any dogs? They seem to love you. No, I don't. Ross, do you copy and paste in some comments or what? You want to act a child? Bye! Alright. Right, let's get on to the real questions, guys. How the fuck? How are you still here, motherfucker? Right, we good? Yeah, they're a pain in the ass. Um. I saw you and your mermaid wife at Asda last week. It was cool to have her in a trolley. Yeah, we don't have Asda over here, I'm afraid. Hate trolls. CJ can't be doing. <laughs> yeah, she's gone. How do you how do you know what what you catch is safe to eat? Experience and studying. Why don't you stream from your PC? My camera is rubbish. Uh, I've got the MacBook Pro, but I don't like the camera. It's crap. To be honest with you, I just don't like the camera. Great, great laptop. Think you got her that time? She's on a three hundred second timeout for acting a child. So. We'll see. Greetings from Spain.
Do, 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 do. Favorite takeaway, Chinese. Uh, I love an Indian as well. I love Indian. Yo, smash. Ever fish tune? Fish jersey, my boy. Yes, I have. No, I haven't. No, sorry, I lie. I have not fish jersey. Almost time for Dano to pop on live. Yeah, I can't wait, Sean. I, I, I love Dano's lives, mate. I sit there for ages watching them. Um... Do 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 do. Himley, you're gonna have to uh, get some better questions than that, my love. Uh, I never use MacBook. Always use. Fair enough. Do you like to eat flounder and stuff? Um, we don't get enough flounder here to uh, for me to know. To be honest, I've never caught a flounder. I don't think. Raw scallops, awesome. Yeah, totally agree. I wish I had some lemon. Oh. Shit. Uh, that place where I found the scallops, though, I am definitely going spearfishing there. And if I find some, I'm going to get them. Uh, April, May for the spider crabs, I think. Uh, maybe, yeah. Yeah, April, May, June. Around that time. Do 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 do. Do you ever use shore crabs as bait? Yes, for wrasse. If you want to catch a big wrasse that's in the area, stick a big hog back on. Yeah, she can spam her channel name all she wants. The Smash fan won't fuck with her. <laughs> what time is it there? It's seven o'clock. What is the most exciting thing for you to catch? Lobsters. Uh, there's nothing better than going down the beach, yeah? Finding a hole and finding a big ass lobster. I love it. Um... As for fishing, I love my congas. I'm I'm definitely a conga fisherman. Because, uh, like, you can catch whip, whip, whip. But when you hook a big one, you know about it. It's like, it just, like, hooking into the floor, you know? I love it. Did you read some uh, Sea Angler article? Yeah. Uh, fair play to the boy. He showed up there a lot. Yes, Sam. Sam's article, yeah. Uh, I remember when he he said about it, oh, they want me to do an article and stuff. No, that's good. He done a good job of it. Was it? Eh? Was that right? Yeah, that's right, yeah. For some reason, I thought you were on about congas then, but no, it's not. He did a bass article, didn't he? Um, catch and cook shrimp prawn toast. Yes, I've done that before in the past. Uh, not on the channel, but I've made shrimp toast. Oh, that's good. You're making my mouth water. Um, do, 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 do. Jay is a southern bastard. You know it. Um, do, 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 do. Have you always lived where you are right now? Yes. Right, you're getting blocked this time, asshole. Suck on that. Right, she gone? Yeah. <laughs> Biggest congas around, it's got to be 38 or something like that, uh, close to 40, it's got to be around that. 
Um, hell yeah, suck on that. <laughs> you know it. Uh, I'm not going to be staying live for much longer now, guys. Uh, I've got a 400 gram steak to eat. Went to Nova Scotia, they had to eat lobster join. I had seven. The record was 27. Oh, nice. Where's Sam? Sam's probably inside right now, to be honest with you. Would you say your best catches were on lure or bait? Bit of both. Uh, my PB bass and all that's definitely on uh, bait. But lure fishing, I've caught them up to £7, I think. Bait fishing, I've had doubles. But, yeah, bait fishing for sure, for PBs and stuff. Can you do a food chain challenge? I, I do plan to do that. I've got that written in my list. Medium rare steak, yeah. I like a little bit of blood coming out. Rusty, go and eat your smegma. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Right, I'm off, guys. Hopefully, spamming glorious fish and tell them to go live. Say smash once alive. Right, I'll see you later guys. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Peace.